Hey guys, Sam with TrafficIsKing.net here and I've been going to a few local business meetup groups and I've noticed that a lot of business owners are confused with the web analytical terminology. So I'm here today to kind of clarify some of the web analytic terminology that you may be hearing or that may be confusing and you weren't really sure what they meant. So in the discussions, I hear a lot of business owners say, yeah, well, you know, our site gets 10,000 hits a day and, you know, we're just getting so much traffic. And the problem with that is it's misleading because hits are, it's an unreliable way to measure traffic. And I'm going to explain why. Now, if you look over here, the definition of a hit is when you have files that are on a web server and those files are being called to a browser. So here you have an HTML page and you have one, two, three. These are three images and you have the HTML page. So all these elements are being called by the web browser and all of those elements will be considered a hit. So this image is a hit, this image is a hit, this image is a hit, and the HTML page itself is a hit. So you have four hits on this uh, page right here. So when this is called by the web uh, browser, it's actually four hits. So you can see that it doesn't really tell you the flow of traffic that you're getting. Now, if you look over here, when someone goes to your website or to your web page, it's considered a page view. Now, despite the amount of elements that you have on the page, it's still considered a page view uh, for that visitor that comes. So on a page, you can have a lot of hits or a lot of images which will result in hits, but it's still considered one page view. So here's where it could be misleading. If I'm a visitor and I go to this page, it's counted as one page view, but then it's four hits. But if I go to, if I refresh this page or I go to a similar page, it'll be considered another four hits for a total of eight hits. So you can see if someone is looking at multiple pages on your website, it can tally up the number of hits, but it can still be coming from one visitor. So that's where it's misleading. So it may look like you're getting a lot of hits, but those hits are probably being generated by one person. So now that I've broken that down and explained that to you, I want to show you over here what you really should be paying attention to are unique visitors when you're looking at your web stats. Now, when you log on to the internet, each, uh, each, each computer, when you log on through a cable modem, has a, uh, a fingerprint or an IP address. And this is what web analytic software uses to determine uh, uh, unique visitors. So your IP address is what makes you unique to every web page you visit. And that's what web analytics software is used uh, to track how many visitors come to a web page. Now, a unique visitor is when someone comes to a web page for the first time. If you're coming to a web page for the first time, they, they see your IP address that is, that, is, that is new, that is different, you're considered a unique visitor. And that's what you really want to look at. You want to look at how many unique visitors, how many unique visits you're getting to your web to your website. And unique visitors will tell you um, how how many people are coming for the first time. Now, if I'm a unique visitor and I go to another page on the site, now I'm considered a visitor. Now it's considered a visit. So I'm no longer a unique visitor if I go to another page on that website. Now I'm, it's considered a visit. So another way where you can, it can get misleading is this one IP address here can visit multiple pages on a site and by them going to those multiple pages, they're considered visits. So I can go to five pages on a website. The first time I go, I'm considered a unique visitor and then every time else, every other page that I visit will be considered a visit. So technically, I can, I'm a unique visitor going into the page, the, uh, the website the first time, but then it'll be counted as five visits. 
So you, you want to really pay attention to the unique visitor count and not so much the visits because the visits can be coming from one unique visitor. Um, I want to make one point in that page views, the important thing to look at when you're looking at your traffic uh, stats is you want to make sure that you want to have more page views per visitor. And if you have more page views per visitor, it means that your website is sticky. If I'm a visitor and I go to multiple pages, which would be considered page views, it means there's something on your site that's sticky that I like and it's making me you know, hang around. But the less page views you have per visitor, if I'm a visitor and I go into one page and then I hightail it out of there, then there may be something about your site that I don't like and you know, that's where you want to evaluate to see how come you're getting few page views per visitor. You want more page views per visitor and that's what you want to look at when you're looking at your uh, web traffic stats. Hopefully I've cleared up a lot of the misconceptions of what hits are, page views, and unique visitors. Um, if there's any confusion or you have any doubts or questions, please feel free to uh, leave a comment below this blog post and I'll help you uh, uh, clarify the situation so that you have a better understanding. But you just want to make sure that you want to take hits out of your vocabulary because it in no way uh, measures website traffic. So that's what I just wanted to share with you guys. I hope you got some value out of this video. Thanks for watching.